Now, Sea of Legends, and oh, look at this on the first day. Already blasted through its funding, and it's already at a thousand backers. Props to the team here. Obviously, here it's using an artistic license, so forget about historical accuracy here. Now, so here it is on the table, and I've got to say there's a few things here that I need to say. Firstly, look at the app. The board doesn't look big enough. Notice the box here. I don't know why there's no player board. You've got so many people working on this game and they never spotted that. Plus this money. Are you kidding me? Look at this money. It looks... Why are all the minis... Characters? Oh, mainly water here. So what is going on here? See here, the hero characters on the board. They look weird as if they're floating. It has five years guaranteed to keep up. These card art, you can see the background to the characters looks. So there's less role play in this game. Uh, 40 minutes of player. You can see here with four players, three hours, $65 on for the extra combat, for the extra um, whatnot. And I'm highlighting things that other people are not talking about because they're mainly paid pe previews and they're not allowed to put criticism over that. Huge team on this game. The wages alone of putting the price up in this box. Really is. And you've got all those artists and all you've got is this cover. 400 unique stories. You'll never play the same game twice. Fingers crossed. Procedural generation and all that. So this is a Kickstarter exclusive, make no bones about it. There's no way we are going to know if the procedural generation is as good as they say, because the dice-driven combat. If you fail your roll die, you're punished. And there's this dialogue you've got to go through while everybody's twiddling their thumbs. It is fairly limited. Strange denizens of the Caribbean. The Sea of Legend app will take note. And potentially your quests are non-character specific, which stinks. Beta rulebook. We'll look at this when we get to the bottom of the page. And I'm telling you, no, it is not beta. It's alpha. It is the worst. I'm telling you now, the heat in the studio is at a 46 Celsius. And oh, Captain Kahina. And they're coming from your favourite mini company, Easter. Base is looking a little bit drab and bare. I like Captain Spell here. I love her outfit. The, the role-playing aspect of your character is very slim. And we've got the British Empire too, which are floating on water with, <laughs> with the cannons and their people. It's so bizarre. These NPCs are quite interesting because they will start to move on the board. And if they go to a certain point on the board, they will summon the big monster here. The worst tokens I've seen. Serious lack of design going on here. Is it an emission? Is it deliberately basic so you buy the gold token add-on? <laughs> Bit disappointing. Captain Lou holding a rocket launch. <laughs> Interesting on the cards though, the kind of the are the Aztecs, but here on the minutes, it's like the golems. It's like an 800 hour campaign. Uh Beyond the game's impressive technological underpinnings, the gameplay of Sea of Legends is really well done with... And what's his weapon? Smell. He just stinks people to death. Well, shiver me timbers, this is the rulebook. I mean, I, I said it was an alpha, that it was in white box phase, but it's not even got there yet. There are no optional buys or add-ons for Sea of Legends. There, but colour me interested. Go Sea of Legends. Legends. Kind of has a large shadow over it because of the elephants in the room we talked about at the start of the video, but it has 29 days to prove itself, so it's not quite there for me yet, but there is hope here. There is hope. Can we recommend it? Not yet.